Hi, uh, welcome to this video about scalars, vectors, matrices and tensors. Uh, this is the first video in the series about uh, basic math used in machine learning. Uh, I'll keep these videos as short as possible, but I'll try to give you the main uh, ideas behind the concepts. So, uh, scalars, vectors, matrices and tensors. These terms are used not only in machine learning, but also in fields like computer graphics, mechanical engineering and uh, many more. Let's begin with the simplest one, which is scalars. And uh, scalars is simply a number. So uh, scalars can be added, subtracted, multiplied, divided, raised to a power. And it is called a scalar because it is used to scale things, uh, make them bigger or smaller. Uh, vectors, on the other hand, are lists of numbers. So if a vector has two numbers, we can visualize it on a 2D plane. Uh, often vectors are represented as arrows originating from the origin of a coordinate system uh, with their tips pointing to the coordinates specified by a vector. That means they have direction and magnitude. Now, a matrix is a rectangular array of elements, uh, usually numbers, arranged in rows and columns. And rectangular means they're two-dimensional, so the dimensions are given by the number of rows and columns. They're pretty useful uh, because images can be viewed as matrices, tabular data can be viewed as a matrix, and uh, matrices are used to transform vectors or other matrices. Uh, but more on that in upcoming videos. And tensors. Tensors are generalized form of n-dimensional arrays, so scalars, vectors, matrices can be called tensors. If a matrix is a two-dimensional tensor, a three-dimensional tensor can be visualized as a cube of numbers and uh, higher dimensional tensors are, as you can imagine, are tricky to visualize. Uh, images with colors are three-dimensional tensors, so they're like uh, stacked matrices, uh, each representing a color channel. And that's it. In the next video, we'll talk about some simple operations we can do with these guys, and we'll check some code samples. Uh, if you find this video useful, hit a like and consider subscribing, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.